Hello, my name's Jason, call sign 2 Echo 1 Hotel Kilo Oscar, based in the central part of England in a city called Leicester. And we're going to have a look at the Diamond BB6WS antenna. Right, just just some first pictures, just some pictures really, just as I've got it out the uh, out the packaging. Uh, as you can see there, the uh, the matching unit, quite a bulbous uh, looking matching unit, and uh, the uh, the radiating uh, cable element that you get with it, along with the um, well, I call them dog bone insulating connectors. Just a quick look at the top there. Uh, it's all of aluminium construction and fiberglass. The top part. Uh, that you see there, uh, I believe that's two sections. You've got the cap that sits over the top of the uh, fiberglass uh, tube and then the um, log type connection on the top. Uh, that's the bottom there. You can see um, the uh, SO239 connection there and obviously some of the uh, sealant they've used, which isn't a problem. Uh, that's the weight of the whole uh, part of the antenna that you're going to be suspending. This is not including the ropes, but uh, it gives you an idea. So not far off um, 800 grams there. Just one thing to note in the packaging, you do get what they call, um, uh, well, it is self amalgamating um, they call it self-melting tape, but it's not. It's self-amalgamating tape. You do get some of that with it as well. So I suggest you uh, just make a point of um, covering these ends. You don't want any uh, capillary action going off and uh, moisture getting in, uh, in there. That's the, uh, the lug end. Again, a good solid fix, but not the way I would do it. I think these are mass-produced. Um, but uh, just something you you need to consider. Again, there's there's a way of moisture getting in there as well because it's not soldered into the lug either. Now this is just a quick look. I used a little torch in one of the holes at the bottom of the matching unit and uh, got my phone camera to have a quick look inside. You can see there's quite a bit of uh, I think it's copper there really. Copper going off. Uh, there's obviously a, a, some form of ferrite ring there with six turns on the radiating element I believe the black cable will be the uh, the ground uh, element of it but uh, I'm not quite sure but um, I've got a few more pictures again just another quick look down the fiberglass tube there that's looking up from the bottom uh, another photo there uh, and that is looking at the bottom there. So those old holes, are, I think, are about three or four millimeters in diameter. So it's quite a well ventilated um, matching unit, to say the least. I think its peak power is 250 watts PEP. Just a little photo of the uh, package in there, obviously with the rope that you get with it. This is me preparing it, ready to. Um, get it into position. I did actually put some Vaseline around that area because I didn't want to to cut the wire and recrimp it. I didn't want to affect whatever it's calibrated or or you know I wanted to, to make this quite a, a raw test really. I didn't, I didn't want to mess with it but again they could have improved that really. Um, I actually put some um, self amalgamated tape around that log as well where it goes where it's attached to the cable and put some Vaseline around the exposed copper part to again to stop capillary action. Heat shrink tubing again uh, self adhesive heat shrink tubing I put around one of the ends as well. That's looking at the top uh, and again you can see some more holes more vent holes. My only concern depending on where you live and what part of the world you're in, uh, that um, bees or wasps might uh, take a fancy to, to, to having a nest building exercise in there. But uh, anyway, again, just a, a shot at the bottom there. Now that's it in position. I'm using some RG58. That matching unit is suspended about four metres above the ground. 
and the top part of the radiating area, it's on a sloper, so it's going up towards the house, the lowest part being the furthest away down in the garden. Uh, but that's sitting around six and a half metres, uh, and it is actually sitting below the collinear. Again, that's looking down the garden. I've got a better shot there. There you can see there. It's about four metres up. And the other end, I've tied it off inside my velux actually to get the height. So there you go. Uh, another shot there. I think the next photo is going to be a snapshot of some QSOs by one of my fellow ham friends, Ben. M7TXR. He's had this antenna as well, not this particular one, but uh, it was his first antenna when he passed his uh, foundation license. And um, he allowed me just to show some of his QSOs he's had um, using 10 watts from his QTH. But anyway, it gives you an idea. So you do get out. Uh, it's not all of his QSOs, it was only the first part of the page I could actually. Uh, use right now what I'll do is I'll just show you some of uh, what I've done let's have a look right so these are what I've done using FT8 10 watts I've only used 10 watts to test this out I've been doing a bit of decorating so it's just I'm actually decorating in the in my shack so it was quite convenient for me to come backwards and forwards uh, I've got everything sort of under cover but anyway you can see these are all QSOs I've had over the last two days or two and a bit uh, one and a bit days I would imagine but you can see I've got around 10 watts it's not been too bad on FT8 considering my compromised QTH and if you're not aware how compromised I am then please look back at my uh, previous videos so there's quite a few on there got into um, got into the states as well so it was interesting I'll just show you the uh, PSK reporter map as well there you go I've had better it might be conditions but I've had better on a, on a vertical antenna because I've got a small garden it's um, you know a vertical was an option for me and I, I you know you do get a better performance because it's quarter wave as well it's a DX commander I use but uh, anyway you can see uh, where I'm being heard obviously Europe's not 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 an issue right just go back yeah what I was also going to mention uh, again this is the BB 6 WS uh, the BB I think is broadband and uh, six being six meters it actually the actual antenna itself when it's pulled out in its horizontal uh, when it's strung up horizontally it's about 6.4 meters long that's not including any additional rope or guys you use on the dog bones but it's, it's quite a small antenna they actually do a BB 7 V so I believe broadband seven meters vertical that is aluminium telescopic uh, tubes you can actually I think it stands about when it's fully collapsed about 1.5 1.6 meters but it's the same matching unit so I don't see why you can't use this antenna this wire antenna um, up a fiberglass pole for example to give you uh, vertical polarization um, but it's interesting um, I might give that a go and probably in my next video and just see how it performs but but overall what's my uh, my feelings about this antenna the negative part is it's expensive not sure far off 200 pounds for this antenna I think the vertical one is probably 250 pounds I'm not quite sure but what I'm actually going to do because I, I haven't got one of those I am I have been on the mailing list uh, but I've been on the mailing list for 
10 months and I've not had anything back so obviously the BB7V is not available at this moment in time but I will put a link to um, Peter Waters um, he did a review on the Waters and Stanton um, YouTube channel uh, Golf 3, Oscar Juliet, Victor I believe is his call sign. He does a little good a good review on the BB7V. So I'll put a link in there. Anyway, I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this little short video. What I've actually got on my screen at the moment uh, is actually uh, top left is my old Icom 756 Pro. Works, it still works a treat. Um, on the same frequency as my FT991A at the moment. There was a QSO going off and um, I was hoping just to show so you could actually see the uh, the receive signal but um, but they're on the same frequency um, there is something going off but they're not far off the ICOM 756 Pros on a 9 to 1 20 meter end fed wire which is in a um, I suppose you could say a horizontal L <laughs> again if you look back on my videos you'll understand how the routing is uh, just to try and get some comparison on receive and the FT991A um, at the bottom there the bottom radio is on the BB6W anyway I'll say 73s and um, hope to uh, catch you again i'm not sure when i'm going to be doing the next video hopefully in the next seven to ten days i don't know what the theme will be maybe i even try testing this um vertically but anyway stay safe and catch you soon